SportsBikePedaling.com. Let's get started. We're going to turn right up here. This is where Julian Wash is. And I'm coming off of Kolb right now, Kolb Road here in Tucson, Arizona. See that box there on the left that says Julian Wash. Up here on the left are the restrooms at the beginning of the uh, of the path. Really nice restrooms that take really good care of them. There's also a sitting area where you can just hang out, place to park your bike, take a drink before you get on the trail. That blue and white sign there shows the distance between Colb Road and Reader Road. This trail is really nice. I take it all the time. It's paved. They have all kinds of little sculptures and things along the way and information about the different types of wildlife. The trail curves right up here. There's also a walking path to the left there. You can walk on that path, which is easier on your feet, or you can use the blacktop here. Of course, I use the blacktop for bicycling. It's much smoother. From Kolb Road to Rita Road, but it's pretty much uh, a slight uphill all the way. It's about 2.8 miles in between this part of the trail. As I understand it, the trail goes about 130 miles all the way around Tucson, which is uh, pretty neat. They keep working on it, trying to finish it up. They've done really good work on it. It's really nice out today probably about 65 degrees right now at about 7.30 in the morning. It's going to get up to about 90 degrees today. A little hot. I should be back home by then. Beyond this fence on the right hand side, there's a wash. There's no water in it right now. We probably won't see any until the monsoon season, end of July, into August. On the left hand side, I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, Trains go by. There's a railroad track over there. They were working on the track the other day, it seems. They had some repair crews out there. And there was about six locomotives just sitting there, the engines. Up on the left here is a little sitting area, and on the right, and here's a bridge. I like this bridge. Here's one of those information stations on the left there. Talks about birds, I think. And that thing that crosses the road over there, 
that's a uh, some kind of a, a monument to recognize uh, Julian Wash. Looks like there's a bunch of dogs up here. Always makes me a little nervous when you. On your right. You never know what the dogs might do. They might run out in front of you, they might chase you. Lots of people on the trail today. Most of them are nice. Most people will say hello or hi or good morning or something, which is nice. Wearing my new uh, chest mount. I like this. Uh, this view of the camera. The handlebars kind of frame the video, which is really nice. Probably got to split this video up into two pieces because I don't want it to get too long. There's some wind. There's somebody on the walking trail. Going the same way I am. Those things sticking up out of the ground up there, those are huge solar panels. They rotate throughout the day so they can catch the most amount of sun. They're really, really big. They just, as I get closer, you'll see the size of them. There's a little uh, place to sit under the shade up here. And I think they have a cistern for water, which catches the water when it rains. And some information, more information about animals. Shift it down a little bit, climb it again. Not a very steep climb, just real steady about the whole way. I have a cat eye computer on this bike. Pretty new bike. I've only got about 200 miles on it. And to the left of that, you see my GoPro mount when I mount it on the handlebars. I like this view a lot better though. I'll probably use this uh, chest mount for quite a while. This bike is a Hanjo Metro bike and it's made by Diamondback. A little over 20 pounds on this bike. I had the handlebar uh, extensions put on it. Morning. It's a nine-speed bike. Nine speeds pretty well uh, works out here in Tucson. There isn't any major climbs unless you go up Mount Lemon.
wearing a long sleeve jersey today because I don't want to get burnt. It's cool when you start out in the morning and then it gets really hot. But this jersey breathes really well, so it's not too hot at all. The jersey that it is. There's another place to sit up here. And I think more information. I'm not sure if the rest of the trail is like this. I've only done about maybe 15 miles on the whole Julian Wash so far. But I'm gonna be checking it all out. Eventually. There's some industrial buildings up here on the left. Not sure what they're used for. I'm gonna end this part of the video. Keep a lookout for part two coming tomorrow. Bikepedaling.com. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.